Louder! And it's time for the Gore and More Podcast. Gonna have a good time. Gonna have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We're going on now. A ball break, walking hand in hand in the moonlight. We'll be the sweet soul there. I swear, we'll never part. Going on a ball break, ball running break. in the sand, feeling alright. What's up, Gorehounds? And everybody else, welcome to the Gore Moore Podcast. I am the not so mean Fluff Master Supreme, Big Johnny D, bringing this shit show in as always. However, I cannot bring this shit show in alone. And with me, as always, is my. Let's see what do we got today. Well, Rawhead Rex was a he was a demon, right? Yes. All right. So my uh my hmm dodious dudes of demonic demon- possession. Yeah, demonic demonic possession. All right. Uh <laughs> whichever. It's on better sun flowing out, but it just did not happen. What's up, Heather? How you doing? And welcome everybody else. Today is March 14th, 2022. And we have a very fun episode for you today. But First, as always, and we do not have our Scuba Steves, but we kind of do, because uh, Scoob's hooked us up today. Apologize for the background noise, but this motherfucker is so nuts, he did this shit in a mall. So, Scuba <laughs> Steve, what time is it? Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your... <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, <coughs> all right. Chad Daddy. What up? You know what? I completely fucked this up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, was, I didn't even do introductions. That's all right. Holy that's shit. That's all right, buddy. So I apologize to all you listeners out there and people who are watching right now. Man, my ass. So let me hear first before anything else. We're going to introduce my boys. First and foremost, we have the daddy himself, the dark lord of knowledge, Mr. Chad Christman. What's up, bitches? And we have the killing machine himself, that meat mountain, that Man, that'll make you cream your jeans <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> Mr. Bobby Amone. I'll make you cream for the muscles, babies. <laughs> That's fucking right. Oh, my God. You know what? I don't even give a shit. We're going to redo it again. So now that I fucked that up and we mulliganed it, <laughs> uh, we're going to jump in to Steven. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now for your <laughs> uh, I just great. love that he did it in a mall. <laughs> no, I fucking fantastic. love it. <laughs> Uh, it yeah, the show does go to show. You're right, Steve. It, uh, <laughs> it goes to show. I think right? Shit. I think I, 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 th- I, I know to... exactly what he. Listen, meant. listen. If he didn't say shit, it don't mean shit. No, I'm kidding. Ah, uh, it is the shit show for a reason. Um, but anyways, Chad, Daddy, how you been, brother? I have been well, thank you. Not much going on this week. You know, kind of a normal, relax, kind of a chill week at work. And then fucking at the end of the week, you know, Mother Nature decided to throw a big middle finger at us and nail us with a snowstorm. One last little middle finger at us. You know, we got like four inches of snow out there, which is a lot less than what they said we were going to get. They said we were going to get five to eight inches. We got like half of that, but it was still enough to just kind of ruin the weekend. We didn't do shit. Yeah, we didn't feel four like every girl's four, every every girl's uh, fucking weekend, right, dude? I was yeah, just say yeah. four inches, four inches. They're always four, promised yeah. eight, and they only get four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Put, put on they're, the glasses, they're, men, they're men inches, so you know. That's right. But yeah, not much aside it's from, from the that. Butthole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, did I do anything this weekend? I don't think I really did. Like I yeah, you know, cleaned. Okay. Yeah, cleaned and that's about it. It was a pretty boring, shitty, you know, not all of us were uh lucky enough, like that guy there, <laughs> to go to fucking monster <laughs> media. Mm-hmm. So uh you know what? I've talked enough because I didn't do a fucking thing. Bobby, how was your weekend, buddy? Hi. I was at Monster Mania this weekend with more friends, more extended family. Like you were there with the, like the more, whole fucking like, whole whole community, fucking dude. Yeah, community running out. We had there had Dexter there. They had the Jasons. They had Michael. They they had everybody, uh, and they had a nice Dexter reunion. It was good. It was a fun time. Thirteen Gallows Lane was there, and then that shout one, out, shout out, and that one little short <laughs> bitch. That one little short bitch who's with them. You know, Janie, whatever her name is. Janie, oh, you they're talking this. about Jordan. Well, now Jordan is a little taller, so Jordan he's all right, but Janie is that little, you know. I mean, Gallo's short too, though. So. Yeah, he's like my I height. Mean, 
But uh, uh, yeah, no, the, I mean, the show comparably to Bobby, though, everybody is. This is true. Exact, exact. But no, the show was great. It was fun. It was nice to be back into the hotel that, you know, haven't been, I haven't been to in two years because I did not go to the summer show last year. But mm. no, it was it was fun. It was great. Bought some shit dressed up as Michael Myers. And, uh, you know, I already booked my room for August just so that way I'm way in advance. Did you? Nice. Yeah, really? Yeah. I would say if you want if you want to do it. Come on, Johnny. You could do it. Well, I mean, Scuba, on, Chad, you could do for, it. Scuba, Scuba was looking I'm for I'm holding out because they usually have Steel City Con that same weekend. Oh, that's right. Mm. They do. Yeah, Steel City is the same one that... Well, anyways, keep going, Bobby. But no, it was a good weekend, but I got to show this because I've been looking for it for a while. So one of the things I bought, my, mm-hmm. my main daddy thing that I bought mm-hmm. was the McFarland Jaws Deluxe Box Set in like mint condition. Not very fucking nice dude i'm so happy it's like it's like mint condition it's still got the tape on it, the original tape as you can tell i'm a happy boy I'm a very happy boy, dude how uh let me ask you man how deep were you into the con when you found that i was literally 10 minutes nice <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, we, so, Damn, so, so I was there with my my girlfriend came down Friday and then she had to go back. And then she came back Friday or Saturday. So my girlfriend and then my friend Taylor, we all shared a room. Uh, so Friday, like show opens at five. I think we were downstairs. Six o'clock. Go, you come down the stairs to come out of the elevator. You go right to the left. There's the first room We're walking mm-hmm. around. Hi, how are you? Hey, haven't seen you forever. Guy in the corner has all this shit, and the thing it's right in front is that bitch. Nice. And really? I looked at, I looked at, it and I'm like, "Am I allowed to pick that up?" And he says, "Yeah." And he says, "You know, if you got cash, I'll knock some off." I'm like, Ooh. "Really?" And he's <laughs> nice. like, "Yeah." So I whipped out my, you know, whipped it out, whipped out my meat mountain of a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and uh you literally walked into this three-day con <laughs> and you blew your wad in 10 fucking minutes dude no oh I, no 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 i know i know i, know. I, I said well hey listen 10 minutes is 10 minutes all right what happens at monster media stays <laughs> exactly <laughs> but i mean hey, I, no, I, I, I gotta i gotta say though you know 10 minutes you know that's pretty good for a man my age Hmm. Shit, I'm, right. a, I'm a half hour. I'm a half hour boy. <laughs> hey, but as still under thirty, exactly. <laughs> but so anyway, so that was like I was like as I saw because I'm like, if I don't buy that now, I guarantee you, if I come back tomorrow and it's gone, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, you I need pissed. So that was the one where I'm like, I'll spend the money on this. I still have you know plenty because I bought other things, but I'm like, get this now, done and out of the way. So that's what I did. But yeah, Fuck yeah, dude. But the show was fucking was great. I would go on more, but we got a show to do here. We do. Did you can just quick question uh, still about it? Did you uh, actually like check out any panels or anything <clears throat> by did, chance? Or I actually did not. I didn't get a chance to. Okay. So uh, the I met. I went and saw Kane Hodder again. I had to get him on the part seven ultimate. I needed that. And nice. I met and I met Steve Miner while I was there. Nice. He nice, was dude. super super down to earth. I was trying to get Michael C. Hall, but. Basically, to get his autograph was pretty I much. I heard the line for that shit was longer than the wristband line, dude, for like one of the photo ops, or maybe it was and, like one of the first. And the weird part is, is they gave him too many photo ops. I mean, I love the show, but they oh, gave they too, overbooked it. They like gave him too many photo ops and not enough time to like do autographs. So they're like, here's your tick, like here's a ticket, but you're not guaranteed to get it. And I'm like, all right, well, thank you, dude. I was supposed to get stuff signed for like my uncle and shit. It just didn't happen. That's, that's how it was with Robert England at Steel City when Chad and I were there, man. Yeah. It was just you know, there was a lot of people that got fucked out of their slots and shit for that stuff. Dude. It sucked. Well, that's yeah. because you have people coming in and bringing like five to ten things for him to sign. Well, and they also yeah, but which they, it should have be lim- It should have been limited from the get go. Well, yes, two for items. Michael C. Yeah, Hall, it was it was limited to four things. That that was the and even that like that's still that's quite that's a bit, that's but. pretty decent. But he wasn't doing like. He'll per, he'll sign your name and sign it, but he wasn't doing quotes or anything. He was pretty much like this. He wanted to talk to people. It was like, "Hi, how are you?" See, and I think that <laughs> I think that's why Robert's line takes so long is because he takes the time to talk to people. 
He does. Well, yeah, because he's. I mean, that's you know, saying the other dude doesn't seem awesome too. But he, uh, my girlfriend got a um, photo op with him. She said he was nothing but a sweetheart. So he was like, oh, nice, he, he wanted to engage, but they just booked so much. It happens. So hopefully he comes back and they learn like, okay, don't give him so many photo ops. Let him. It's sign. always a learning. It's always a learning lesson, though, dude. Yeah. yeah. No matter how what you plan for, like shit can always go awry. Unfortunately. Yeah. So, but yeah, no show was show was wonderful. You know, uh, I'm ready for August now, and I'm ready for other shows. But that's enough about me, Johnny. I want to hear about you. You're so. Oh, what's up, buddy? Uh, let's see. So this weekend, I froze my ass off. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like Chad Daddy said. We had really nice weather on Friday. It was in like the 50s. And then the next day we had a half a foot of snow. And it was really windy, about like Mm -hmm. 40 to 50 mile per hour winds and like 20 degrees. So it was, yeah, it just sucked. But we did a parade. Fuck yeah, we did. Uh, Ghostbusters of Central New York. Check us out on Facebook. Same selfless drop. Uh, (laughs) But no, we do uh, we do the St. Patrick's Day parade for uh, Syracuse, New York, and it was it was nice because the parade doesn't happen in two years. Uh, obviously, everybody you know, I don't have to fucking talk about it. Everybody knows what the fuck's up. So parade got on hold. It was really cold. The weather deterred. Unfortunately, a lot of people come in, not only just like patrons, but people on the parade. But here's the cool part. Even though still a lot of people went out, the parade route itself from the start to finish is only 20 minutes. The parade itself still took over two hours to go through. (laughs) So, yeah, like it's a big, it could be a really big ass parade. And we were at the ass end of it, dude. (laughs) So the parade starts at 12. Our lineup was at 115. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's when we're like, hey, that's when it shows up. You need to show up to your lineup spot is one fifteen, and it's still way the hell back, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, so an hour and fifteen minutes after the start of the parade is when we're supposed. Like, God damn. Um, but it was the kiddos' first parade. Uh, she got a nice little spotlight on the local news there. Yeah, she so did. that was pretty sweet. And then uh, the next day, I went to another parade. Well, kinda. So I had all intentions of going to my ninety year old grandma's parade which she was in, there's a thing called the Ancient Order of Hibernians. It's a Irish Catholic organization for random history lesson for anybody out there. <laughs> but they do this thing called the shortest parade in America, and I guess it's like actually legit, but the parade itself is 293 feet long. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And um, so it was cool. So they had a grandma in a golf cart. She was like in the middle. They had like one big-ass fire truck. <laughs> and then like everybody else like walking and stuff so that was cool so i went down uh there i haven't been down there in years it was asshole to elbow so i stayed like 20 minutes and i was like all right see <laughs> <laughs> i had enough paraded yesterday i'm fucking good but and then i watched this movie so i'm ready to talk about that man all right let's bobby do it. You, what are we here yeah. to talk about today today on this episode of gormore we are here to talk about Rawhead Rex. That's right. Yeah. Sounds Re- like a release. Du- oh. Yeah, it does. I mean, we'll discuss that later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a released Penis. October 14th, <clears throat> excuse me, 1986. He's pure evil, pure power, pure terror. Rawhead Rex is a demon alive for millennia, trapped in the depths of hell and waiting for release. He is held by an ancient seal, release. imprisoned <laughs> for centuries in a barren field near the hamlet of Ramar. Rathmore, Ireland. In time, this gruesome legacy has been forgotten, dismissed as an odd pre-Christian myth until Tom Garren decides to plow his fields or his field Ooh. his ancestors knew better than to disturb. The seal is broken and unspeakable evil is unleashed. I don't know if it's unspeakable, but all right, close enough. <laughs> on, a ra- <clears throat> on a rampage of blood and lust, Howard Hallenbeck and an American historian on a working vacation with his family discovers on the stained glass windows of local church a series of scenes illustrating the reign of terror of Rawhead Rex. But one of the pieces of glass depicting the defeat of the monster is missing. 
Rawhead Rex is on the loose, and he is. Why am I having the right. insatiable? Insatiable Ooh. as Howard desperately races Ooh. against time for a way to stop the vicious monster. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Directed wow. by George Pavlou, uh, Transmutations, Little Devils, The Birth. Written by Clive Barker. Do I really need to say more Hellraiser or just anything <laughs> in general? Right. You know, produced by Kevin Atu. After Darkness, Transmutations, David Collins, Asylum, Grabbers, Don Hawkins, After Darkness, Transmutations. Chad, right. take it away, baby. Starring David Dukes, Gods and Monsters, and Rose Red as Howard Hallenbeck, Kelly Piper from Maniac and Vice Squad as Elaine Hallenbeck, Ronan Wilmot in the Name of the Father, mm-hmm. Fatal Inheritance as Douchebag Declan O'Brien, <laughs> Neil Tobin, Far and Away, Bride's Head Revisited as Reverend Old Coot. Niall Old O'Brien Coot. from Excalibur and King Ralph as Detective Inspector Isaac Gissing. Hugh O'Connor, My Left Foot, and Three Musketeers as Robbie Hallenbeck. Cora Lunny, Man About Dog and Speed Dating as Minty. Not Mindy, Minty, Minty. Hallenbeck. I thought it was Minty. That's what I thought That's they were thinking. Weird. I, thought so, I thought so too. Uh, Heinrich von Schellendorf as Rawhead Rex and Donald McCann as from Stealing Beauty and the Serpent's Kiss as Tom Guerin. Take it away, yeah. Big Johnny All righty. Music by Colin Towns, The Haunting of Julia and The Vampire's Kiss. Cinematography by John Metcalf, Extro and Inseminoid. Mm-hmm. That also sounds like a porn. Yeah, it does. And it- that sounds like a weird, like, alien, like, Tentacle porn kind of shit. It's it's on. it's some kind of weird seminoid. No, I don't know if it's like aliens or some yeah. kind of computer, something trying to impregnate a woman. I don't know. I, I oh, so it's, I'm not that far off. You are not. not. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Edited by Andy Horvich, Prison, and one of my personal favorites, yeah. and Brody Kane's The Giver. Which, by the way, they're dropping the rated R cut, which I'm my dumbass didn't get. So guess who's going to have two copies of that shit coming up soon? Uh, <laughs> Effects and makeup from Fiona Kemp from Red Dwarf. It's actually a really awesome show. Distributed by Empire Pictures. Runtime of 89, little people. MPAA rating of R. R. Budget, we don't fucking know. And grossed, continue. We We don't know. Uh, Yeah. So, gentlemen, let's generally discuss this movie. So, so this is that movie... uh, I started going to horror conventions in 2005. This is that movie that I've seen in bootleg DVD guys, booths, seeing some pictures, and I'm like, what the fuck is Rawhead Rex? Because it Mm -hmm. looks cool. Mm -hmm. The first time I watched this movie, I'm like, okay, this is actually a cool movie. you know. And I watched it again for this. I still think it's a cool movie. But I do think it's definitely below expectations of what people definitely want. Janie, we'd just like to let you know that Ghost Daddy was eaten by Rawhead. He's creaming yes. it. He's creaming in someone's dreams. Yes. Oh! In the dreams of the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> he's here in messages form. In messages right, form. Video form but. He is. He's back in pop so, form. So, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Alright, so this was my first watch. Mm-hmm. And... Chad did say go in with an open mind. Mm-hmm. So yes. I did because I literally had no idea what this was. I read the little heading of where I watched it and was like, okay, this is what we're in for. I like that it's in Ireland. Good choice for the week, my brother, for placement wise. Uh, I feel like it could have been so much better. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll, I yeah. wanted it. I wanted it to be so much better. Um, what we got is a weird Jason with like I don't a, a Goro with fangs. My wife kept saying, she's like, it looks like Goro from Mortal Kombat. I'm like, it does. See, I thought it was like that yeah. weird mandible I, piece. I thought though. he looked like more like a fucking horse the first time I saw it. Okay, so I'm glad I, you said yeah, that because okay. where I went with it is that's what I said. I was like, no, he looks like fucking uh, what's his name in Thor's universe there. Yeah, Beta um, Ray Bill. Yeah, Beta Ray Bill. Yeah. Thank you. That's exactly where I went with it. I was like, yo, man, you give this asshole a fucking 
Give him uh, a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a hammer, storm chaser, whatever the fuck it is. Um, was it a slasher? I guess that'd be my biggest question because I feel like it is, but it's it is and it isn't. It's it's like a supernatural yeah. demonic slasher. Because like yeah, it, like it, he's it's, almost animalistic. He's just eating motherfuckers, but he's also pissing on their faces too. Okay. Okay. That scene was hilarious, dude. <laughs> and that was the moment my wife, right beforehand, was getting up. She's like, "I'm fading. I'm going to bed. I'm not watching the rest of this movie." <laughs> And she's getting up and she gets up and she looks and she's like, is he pissing on that dude? I go, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> What did he's uh he was baptizing was him baptized. according yeah, to was. him? Yep, that's what it was. What a I okay, listen, man. I was raised Catholic and I know there's a lot of fucking weird shit. There's nothing I've ever been where I could say I was baptized to be or by pissed. <laughs> so. Well, that's you know, we're also not, you know, hell Satan, you know. Yeah, you gotta kind of figure this is like a uh but this wasn't I like that this was like an old god almost. Yeah, it was right, it was, was there pre like, I hate saying I mean Cthulhu is always the one that like, the easiest one to go with, but you know what I mean? Like this is okay, let's just say if we did go with like I guess Christian lore, like he would have been some one of the things like God would created before anything else. And it was just like I didn't know what to do with this. You know what I mean? Like Leviathans, mm-hmm. shit like that. Like all right. the fucking crazy shit. That's what he I don't know. It, there was a lot of cool stuff about this movie. Uh, you know what I mean? I love the stained glass, dude. Like I would like yeah. just that poster. That was I cool love I love the Irish countryside setting, the little Irish town, yeah, locals. It was sweet. But yeah, like the the monster, like it could have been designed better, it could have been more lifelike been, instead of just looking more, like a rubber mask uh, he could have been more agile too that if i had to sit here and really change something about the Brody. monster an old god demon whatever you are like you shouldn't necessarily have to run all the time like you got some powers well you know what i mean like think about it yeah but i mean his powers might not be in the form that we nest you know what i mean like in what we would necessarily think it's not like superpowers per se but like you know what I mean? Like, obviously, True. he was able to revive after however long he was underneath that weird stone totem. True. Um, but yeah, man, like this, I wanted so much more from this movie because I feel like it could be. And when we get to our R section, I feel like we're definitely could have a good discussion. Um, but gentlemen, I mean, what did you think? This is obviously not your first time watching it. So, I mean, what can what can you tell us from like at least when you first watched it, how you felt versus now? I let Bobby talk because this was his pick. Anyway. I mean, when I when I first watched it, I don't know. I I thought it was good at the time I watched it. I'm like, I don't know. It felt terrible terrifying the first time i watched it not like i was like oh it was just more like this is pretty scary i watch it again and i'm just like what movie did i watch the first time <laughs> like, I don't... so i mean listen the design of the monster yes he is scary i can't say he's not but just <sighs> there, he there... looks like he should be in guar yes kind of like yeah. there should have been like, there should, there the should heavy been... metal hair definitely like there should have been yeah. so much there just should have been so much more like, I, <laughs> I, I i honestly don't have anything to say is that i still like it but I, 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 I will get to that section when we get there, but I still like it, but it could have definitely been much more. Yeah. I mean, the Irish setting, like Chad said, was fucking fantastic. Yeah, I loved it. It, it, it. If anything, it makes me want to actually go to Ireland. Yeah. I always have, honestly. Same. You know, that's the motherland. Um, I got to go. Right. Fucking A, man. I don't know if I'm about kissing the Blarney Stone now, but... <laughs> <laughs> No, not after the one. Uh, one of the one comedian says that the locals take turns pissing on the Blarney Stone. Yeah, right before. who was that? Who was? I can't oh. remember who said that. All right, that'll. All right, I'll be thinking. Anyways, you were saying about the movie. But yeah, like this. This is one of those movies I remember reading about it and hearing about it years and years ago when I was in like junior high, high school. And my friend Andy, whose parents owned a video store, I was like, you know, I really want to see this movie. I want to see what it's about. And he's like, you don't want to see it. Like, come on, I want to see it. He's like, <laughs> no, it's not very good. You don't want to see it. So you know. Years and years later, I think this was probably maybe 15 years ago, I finally did see it. I bought like a bootleg DVD of it. It's not bad, but it's not great. No. No. It's It's, definitely... Is it B? It might even be top C. I would say C. That's like a C I would say C. Yeah. Like, it wants to be a good B. Put it it this way. Probably could have been. this, this This is that high school project that it sounded good when you talked about it. And then you handed it in. And you thought you aced it. And then you got a C plus. And you're like, <laughs> shit. I think my biggest problem You're like, is- it's still passable, but... Right, yeah, it's like, well, I'm not failing. <laughs> but you don't really feel a connection to any of the characters. No, you no, don't. They're all throwaways. Yeah, which- I mean, even the main character, yeah, he. it's kind of tragic what happens, you know, but you still don't Dude, feel that connection with him. Okay, it's tragic, but the problem is the, the whole scene of him hitting his... All right, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen... 
pause this shit right now and go watch it. Uh, <laughs> but when he eats his kid, mm -hmm. it, it was almost comedic how it, it happened. Like it yeah, was, it was. I don't understand why he just stood there. Most, I mean, I understand, you know, the whole being frozen in terror, but most fathers are not going to be standing there frozen in terror. Oh, I'd be over Dude. the fence already. I'd be like, you motherfucker. Oh. Yeah. So here's the problem with that scene for me. And as it was funny, and I still enjoyed it. I'm not going to say I hated it by any means, but we just came out of Feast. So <laughs> in my head, I'm envisioning it how it would be in Feast when we also saw a kid got gobbled. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'd be way blood, there, there'd be way more blood on the side of that car for just like how he ate. I mean, I don't know, unless like Rex can like for some reason expand his mouth and we just couldn't see it. You maybe, know? maybe he can't because he has the inner jaws like the alien. So who knows? Maybe he can. Yeah, I don't know. Like I would, I that would have been a, like a really cool scene. Just see his jaw open, real guy, just chomp somebody's fucking head off. That would be cool. That would be. Cool. He kind of went for like a lot of like neck, neck bites. bites. Yeah, like for like a vampire. Yeah, there's like three of those. Weird. I think. Um, <laughs> don't worry, Heather. We can recap all this shit. Yeah. Um. So, like I said, if my other problem is, and you know what, Chad Daddy's always brought this up on a lot of other past episodes, and it's a golden rule in horror: don't overly just show the your villain. Yeah. Or your monster. Give us a little, you know what I mean? Like, give us the reveal like at the third mm -hmm. act. You know what I mean? Like, not right from the get-go. Especially when don't you know, don't, like, especially when the monster design isn't the greatest. He looked best when he was in the shadows. Yeah. Yes. When he was, when he had that person predator style hanging up and his eyes were glowing then at the night. Dude, like, fucking give me more of that. that yeah, that was beautiful. Uh, but the daytime shots, yeah. I don't know, man. I'll tell you what, man. Yeah. You want to see a good predator-like kind of movie? I'm all ears. It's called. It's without warning. I've heard of this movie. I've not Kino watched it. Kino Lorber is bringing it out on uh, 4K. I think later this year. It's really good. It heavily influenced Predator. Uh, Kevin Peter Hall plays the the, the alien in it. Is it the original? It's not the actual like OG like what Predator was supposed to be, is it? No, 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 not like you mean like the face design and everything. No, no, it's oh, wait, yeah, yeah. okay, no, 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 oh, yeah. but no, he's an alien, he's hunting people, like he has these like throw in discs and stuff. And then the face actually looks like what the predator's helmet that's what the alien's face looks like. We will talk after the show about that so I can write that down. Yeah, well, uh, in the meantime, that's what a well and good yeah. voice, but Katie's cutting in. Ba -ba. Snip, snip, fucking snip, Mr. Brody, hey, gentlemen. It's your DKB. He's back for another episode of Gore and Mortar. Okay, not as angry as Amityville 3. Rawhead Rex. Give it I don't time. have really much to say about this film. <laughs> there is I can see the despair in his eyes. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's like, there should be more. I think it's a bit of a fuck you to Clive Barker, especially being a massive Clive Barker fan myself. Uh, That's fair. We will get into that. I will say that this actually done right was the fucking made a shit film to actually help drive and push Clive Barker to become a fantastic fucking director that he is today and direct Hellraiser himself. Like he said, you know, if you want shit done right, you got to do it yourself. <laughs> Especially after watching this, or um, two is better. This is what helped push him. Yeah, I agree on that. Better creative artist overall, and I thank you, Rawhead Rex, for being a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Source material um, in the overall visual design and some undertones of the religious themes that Mr. Barker had wanted for the film, um, especially the creative concept of Rawhead Rex himself. Um, right? I've had better mm. shits than what we get in this film. Uh, it's just a guy in a rubber mask, and look, I love a lot of movies like that, but if you had seen, to me personally, I love the concept art that he had wanted Rawhead Rex to be. To me, it was very intimidating it was scary this slender man looking alien creature with this fucking head that had teeth and i don't know to me it felt more intimidating than this big hulking fucking ogre looking i definitely i oh, just we'll get into that yeah definitely. it was just corny as shit like really really corny i just did not dig it at all the cinematography i could have shot this on a fucking motorola flip phone from the late 90s <laughs> Oh my god. This, film. this film was hard to watch. Hard oh. watch. Yeah, and I understand that they had a small crew and they only had to work uh, with what they had. Brody. If you're going to do an adaptation right, fucking stick true to the source material for fuck's sake. Right? You have it right there. Hard. Like, why is it? Fuck. I mean, never understand well, that, Just dude. don't do it at all. Just don't fucking touch it. <laughs> like, my god. Because yes. it's such a great concept. Like, if you go back and read the short story and you, it's like, holy fuck, like, this is actually something different, unique, it works, it looks, it sounds great, I would love to see this in film, 
yeah, this film does not justify it whatsoever. Oh my god. And yeah, like I said, it helped push Claude Barker to actually do his own work from now on because he was just like, fuck, I, I, yeah, I had part writing this film, but I just did not want to. Yeah, he, I keep watching. I'm sure it Chad Daddy has in his notes, but I heard so he was very he upset with DK this film. Vegan with a fucking Gormal score of. We got, we got, I'm gonna we got. Fucking point eight. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God! Right. Okay, wow! Love it. Love it. Woo! So this is so this movie to Clive Damn, Barker. Brody is what, came in hot. Well, this movie to Clive Barker is what The Shining is to Stephen King. Oh no 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 no! The Shining's a masterpiece. You can't. I no, can't no, 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 no 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 I understand, no no. I understand the parallel you're trying to make. Yeah, but no, I'm saying of, of writers oh. hating it. Of writers hating, yes. No, that, Heather, he's got a point eight. Yeah, point of, eight. of writers hating their you work on screen bro. just in general. You know, similar, but yes, obviously one turned out way better than the other. But yes. you know what I mean. God damn. Yeah, Rawhead Rex is no The Shining, that's for sure. Well, no. Okay, so before we go into any further, we should probably describe, for anybody who doesn't know, the original design of Rawhead Rex was supposed to be more phallic-like. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like Brody said, it, it, it was a very tall, slender body in the comic or however you want to say uh adaptation it's it's very it's gray super skinny muscular he's got like a weird like would you say like a furry boa almost around his neck yeah. it looks like it's what it looked like yeah yeah and then he's literally just has a dickhead yeah and <laughs> it's like a big yeah. half moon shape it even has a little yeah. indent like it a, looks it, it looks like he's got his self up penis head but what i but agree he has with this Brody, nice big huge jaw. his mouth right yeah the mouth is so huge and it's like it's one of those weird offsetting like when the jaws are that big you know what i mean like especially because the eyes are like it's almost like an angler fish or yeah he has like you these know, kind yeah. of beady eyes and then this huge fucking mouth i agree with brody i feel we were kind of gypped out with not getting the og design i know chad you feel a little different i maybe. do and i don't i don't know if it would translate well yeah okay you just don't. i will agree with that maybe the body would need a little bit more than just the solid gray yeah because it, it basically it basically looks like a xenomorph minus all the biotechnological looking stuff it's just real slender real thin real gangly i was almost thinking like the demogorgon or whatever from like uh silent or uh oh now that Stranger you say things, that yeah I, okay, yeah, I yeah, yeah, that, yeah yeah i can that get that i can sense. see that but yeah. more but a little bit skinnier yeah, 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 yeah. like cross yeah, that yeah. with cross that with like slender man if you get the uh, but like hence it. like you know they had a little like with the bar it was called like the tall man bar you know yeah. yeah 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 they did see that so we got a couple more reviews from the lovely heather redhead of the dead hi Goramore. this is heather your what? redhead of the dead here to talk about rawhead rex excellent uh, shirt heather is when we first see Rawhead Rex a couple of times, the way he walked to me looked like that kind of slow, deliberate Jason mm -hmm. walk. I don't know if any of you agree, and if so, which Jason, 100%. if any, you thought he moved more like. Later, he moves a lot faster. Seven and slash he, I didn't really get that yeah. impression, but in the first That's couple times, instantly I really where that. my head thought, oh, um, seven. There were a lot of candidates for douche. I'm going to stick with my initial thought, which was Andy, because he was such a jerk to that kid. All he wanted to do was play, play with the toys. Yeah. Normal kid thing to do. He wasn't even bothering them. Like He was letting them make out. He just wanted to play with his toys. <clears throat> um, but he was playing with them very loudly and obnoxiously. And, oh, the, the cute well, little girl. He okay, wanted to fuck, and they're the in a actress. camper, dude. In like, the yeah, <laughs> he's got a point. <laughs> she says to her dad, Daddy, was there Which an I need to bring that up, too. Was there any blood? And it was like, what on earth would make this little girl say, was there any blood? I loved that. That was hilarious. Um, in the police station... There was this poster. We didn't see the top of it unless they showed it in a different scene and I missed it. It said, mm. by day a pet, by night a killer. Lock your dog up at night. It's like, <laughs> are they trying to wow. say that all dogs are killers and we need to protect people and lock up our dogs? I was, that was I, th I think that was for a rabies and vaccination silly, and I didn't know what that was about. Um, <laughs> makes Colin sense, 86, rabies is really made huge, a big, big effort then. to get to his son to save him. I mean, seriously, he took two slow steps to the right and then gets into this light little trot up the hill and then the gate is all of a sudden this like unbearable barrier Barrier where he can't get through. Yeah, what was that? Why and was I that? thought that was pretty hysterical. He's just watching his son get ripped to pieces and oh. he's really trying really hard. I got more of the impression that he knew that he had no chance and he was just saving himself because, I mean, whatever. Um, I mean, I'm going to go with dude, Rex my pretty favorite much deep kill, kill being that child. the one where um, the shirt <laughs> Not in the dirty the way, but I mean the entire child. Just because that's the only tits we see in the movie. And none of the kills really were that like dramatically. Yeah, I was not expecting the tits. You know, intense yeah. to me. So I'm just going to go with that because we get to see tits. 
outfits. Obviously, it was um, unsexy, mu- uh, and unsexy what nudity. The yeah. hell was the thing where Rawhead wrecks <clears throat> peas on the priest? What was that? Because he was baptizing. Bat- 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 was it like when you mm-hmm. anoint somebody with holy water? Only he's an- anointing I'm him with urine sure if I to, went to make him Urban Dictionary. Like, evil? They call it something I, I, else. That, <laughs> I don't know, man. That a little golden shower. Um, right. Ask R. Kelly. I guess he I'll just know. leave it at that because yes. my video is getting beyond two minutes, and Facebook doesn't like that. Um, only other thing I would say is, do you guys have any comments on ways that they could have improved the hood uh, of Rawhead Rex? Yeah, uh, yeah, like I know a nothing million about ways. How you oh these yeah, things. and I'm gonna give it a two point four. Okay. Um, all right. So this is your Redhead of the Dead saying, "I'll eat your brains later." Bye. Thank you. Thanks, thank Heather. you. Fair enough. Very fair. Absolutely. All righty. So, yeah. A, a, he ate the kid super fast. So, I don't think there's really anything he could have done in that amount of time, anyways, spreading over. It would, that would be my guess. But my whole situation is why would you say, okay, I get the whole, like, yeah, your little daughter's got to, like, learn to pee by herself. But why would you still send her, like, so far away from you? Yeah. yeah. Like, why? Didn't was, that, like, wasn't yeah. that, like, the weirdest thing to you? Like, I don't know. That was just like, dude, he's still sending her, like, 50 feet fucking away. I'd be like, no. No, no, no. Plus, you, he you knew, right over here. He saw Rawhead in right. The he wood. knows he's out there. Yeah, like what he knows the fuck, he exists. Dude? I would have been like, nope, pee your pants, whatever. I'll clean it up later. I'm not stopping. I would have just peed. Right, I would have just had her like pee right, like open the door. Yeah, open the door. Right, like right there and go. Do the drunk, do the drunk girl thing. Be when you pregame and the girls are like, I gotta pee on the way to the actual like club or whatever. And you know what I would say? Open up both doors so you know. You, yeah, come on. And I would say to my yeah. wife, hold on to her because if we see something, pull her. She, yeah, for, right. Be like and tell your family. Be like, yo, if you see something, like scream, yell, do. So you know what I mean? Like I don't know what you would do. There's nothing like you. <laughs> you could try to go fight them, but you probably just get fucked regardless yeah um all right so we have one more review here and that is from our mr lord scuba steven and uh i'm going to pre-warn everybody audio listeners video everybody uh scoob recorded this on the bus (laughs) bus full of kids yeah he is chaperoning right now and uh here but is. he kept it short, sweet, because he knew he's on a bus. I think it's fucking hilarious, and I love him for it. So here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Lord Scooby Copper here, the host with the ghost, the All prince right, of the paranormal, the, 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 the dead. And unfortunately, I am not able to be on Gormor tonight, as you can obviously tell. But today we are reviewing. Give Rawhead him hell for not doing Rex. vertical. What can we say about Rawhead Rex? Oh, I will. For not doing horizontal. He didn't do it. He did it for both of us. Films yeah. that if you've never watched it before because he's fucking used to that tiktok shit dude film, especially <laughs> the lore that is built in this movie um it, it's just one of those i mean the, the, the up close graphics or the i'm sorry the up close makeup effects are really good far away it looks kind of do what i want goofy, no you don't like you do it <laughs> or i don't know i just do as you're told place in my heart for you this know what film. you just told I us he it. likes fucking There's standing up to say, that's pretty much know, what it is i'm gonna give it a <laughs> He doesn't like doing it horizontally. He likes doing it vertically. Did you hear that? 3.7, um, guys. 3.7. Yep. Thank you, Scubas. I get into details, but I am on a bus right now on a field trip. <laughs> Can't give too many. Ones. Right there with, you know, some of my students. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a dude. <laughs> that's <laughs> right from the picture. Oh, yeah. Enjoy the film as I did. If not, I'll be watching, I'll be watching in the chat. So... <sighs> I, want, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Peace. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you, Scoops. <laughs> Love oh, you, Scoops. So enthusiastic. Fair enough. Fair enough. I am so happy he showed that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so for you guys, like, listen, Scoops, uh, he is chaperoning a bunch of kids. He's going to a game. And he took a picture. I think it was his daughter, right? Was that his think. daughter? Or maybe it was just students. I could I, be wrong. I, I apologize. Uh, but anyways, there's one dude in the shot, and his face <laughs> Is just the straight up like fuck like it just I don't even want to be here or maybe just because he was in Scoob shot he was just probably like, but yeah dude there was just angst <laughs> so much angst on his face dude. you could have cut that angst with a knife <laughs> it was fucking hilarious oh <sighs> but thank you everybody for your reviews yeah um, holy shit but yeah so this movie was I mean. <sighs> It could have been so much more. Mm-hmm, it yeah. wasn't. It, it just fell flat, unfortunately. It has its um, charms, but not. It's not enough yes, to watch correct. this movie a lot. No. This is not. Yeah, I, I would not need to really watch this again for a really long time, or for whatever reason. So, ah, uh, it's just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> for uh, audio listeners, Scuba Steve said it's uh, it's Dion and his teenage angst. 
<laughs> he did though, leave, leave Chucky. from Chucky's series. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's famous. Oh. Uh, so, I mean, gentlemen, is there anything else that we want to bring up? I mean, not, any, not, anything not really. We, we, did we, talk, we did talk about, you know, how he was supposed to look like a penis and, you know. Yes. I mean, we kind of touched on everything that we really needed to. I mean, it's not. Yeah. This, is, this isn't Shakespeare, so it's not going to get that. Kind no, of no, no. I just. And, dude, some of the shots, just, I got to agree with bro. Like, some of the shots were just really, really close. Like, okay, case in point, uh, he was attacking on the farm. When he went to go attack the pregnant lady. And you guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about when she's first seeing him through the window. Yeah. That was just a weird back and forth of like how they shot that. Yeah. They that could have was. shot they could at least shot it from outside the window looking in with her looking out. You know what I mean? Like what? something. Not just that, but like the shots in the house. I can't remember if it was her running upstairs or if it was when the, when the detective or whatever was running yeah. upstairs. How many fucking stairs is in this are in this house? It's okay. like it's a, a small really house. tight. It was like a really tight corridor too it's like a really tight also, tiny staircase also have to bring up that scene with uh the farmhouse there because it's pot- potentially one of my favorite scenes i don't know what it is with rawhead rex but he clearly has something against organized kitchens <laughs> he did. because he just straight up went through that like he didn't even chase her he stopped in his they we had a five minute kitchen destruction scene for no fucking reason. yes i did not get that what the? F- Did you like the last shot too? When he was just literally like it was just the flower. He was like, "And fuck this dude!" <laughs> like <laughs> it was. Just, I don't know, man. This is this is a perfect movie that we needed to like mystery science theater. You know yes. what I mean? Like this shit would have been hilarious to do it. I could just hear Chappelle for some reason like overvoicing that whole <laughs> fucking scene. <laughs> like, fuck this and fuck that. Um. So, no, Chad, is there, is there any? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is there anything behind the notes that we haven't discussed that you can? Okay, so we had talked about Clive Barker hating it. He wrote the screenplay, and it's mostly faithful to the story. But he was very unhappy with some of the acting, especially with the ogre-like That's design fair. of Rawhead, as he intended the monster to look like a giant phallus. Uh, that is actually what inspired yes. him to make you take a more central role when making Hellraiser, like Brody said. Oh, right. uh, in the original story, he was a nine-foot-tall demon with a face like raw meat, hence the name Rawhead. But again, okay. that's really. But it didn't really show that in the designs that they made either. So no, it yeah, it's a little bit. They took a little <clears throat> bit of liberty with that. Uh, the effects team only had four weeks to make Rawhead Rex costume. Uh, moreover, the costume was actually done as a single piece with latex skin. That thing looks heavy as shit. I what? Was. That was one piece. Yeah, it's like probably worse than that. If not as bad, that's probably worse than the Ninja Turtle suit. I would think. How big was the dude inside, I wonder? Not that big. He actually had to work out for this. Yes, he worked out for two months in order to get into shape. It took two hours to put him in the costume. Hot diggity. That's actually not bad when you consider this. No, it's really not. Four hours plus in the makeup chair. Oh, easily, dude. Um, Like I said, man, like it, it wanted to be a slasher, but then it didn't want to be a slasher. It wanted to be demonic, but it wasn't really even demonic. Yeah, it was a really weird limbo spot. Like, it wasn't really sure what it wanted to be at all. And speaking of limbo, Clive Barker has been saying since as far back as at least 2004 that he has plans to remake this. I would love it if he could. Interesting. Okay. Well, we can discuss that further on as we get mm-hmm. uh, to the, our uh, remake section. So the movie was shot during a freezing cold winter. The streets and forests had to be hosed down in order to remove snow before certain scenes were shot for the sake of continuity. That's hmm. a, that sounds like fun. Yeah, right. I, Interesting. Terrible. Peter Mayhew was originally considered to play Rawhead, but his fee was too high. You're going to have to... Oh, uh, Peter Chewbacca. Mayhew. Chewbacca. Oh. Oh, goddamn. Not only that, he fucking tall. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, this movie doesn't have the budget for that motherfucker. <laughs> no. You would have just spent your whole budget. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ro- Ronan Wilmot screamed at the top of his lungs and pounded on a table for his, adi- for his audition as Declan O'Brien. Douchebag. Declan. You know what? I'm the vagina. He, he, he played a good fucking weird priest, dude. Yeah, yeah he did. I- really did. Was he a priest? He was, was a ver- he, he said he was the verge or whatever the fuck that is. Like, I, I, I don't know what know. that is. I don't know. I, never, I, don't, yeah. I know what a deacon is. Yeah, yeah I don't I know, know shit about. Like, I don't know really what the hierarchy is, and as far as like, actually, that might be under a priest. So maybe it's like a priest apprentice. Well, he didn't have the white collar, so I'm guessing no, he right. Didn't. So that's that's. What I, I wonder if he's like an apprentice or something like that. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, uh, the sequence with all the people on fire was filmed over the course of two nights, and they all looked wonderful. Where, uh, 
Oh, wait, during the rampage scene? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Sorry, I don't like So was it just the cops that got burned? It seemed like there was a lot of townspeople there too, but it looked like it was all just cops' corpses. I think it was cops' corpses. Cops. I like that. Cops, cops, corpses. corpses. I think it was just uh, the cops that did get burned, actually. Oh, that's what I was going to bring up. Okay. So we were talking, uh, Heather talked about the one dude getting mad at the kid because, and obviously, you know, he wanted a bone in the fucking. Was that a campground or was these people legitimately just living in? I think they were living there. I think that yeah, was they the were. Ir- I think they, they were. That too. looked like the Irish version of a trailer park to me. I think you're right because Which there was a whole bunch of shittier. Yeah. That's even worse. Like, yeah, they it, were it small. you imagine living in an old ass camper, dude? Like, that's what it looked I, like to me. Was those you had actual, to do it? You got to do it. Yeah, it yeah they were like small as can be, too. But like, I almost want. This is just maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it is something in Ireland that I you know I just know nothing about. But I was also kind of wondering if it was maybe just like they had those for the cast and crew, and then they just utilized that. For that could seeds. that could be too. I would not be. Surprised. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like they're just like, all right, we're filming out in the woods and stuff, so we got to have campers and everything, and it's like all the cars that actually brought it. And they're just like, all right, we're just going to film in this one, and we just need one that we can destroy in the middle of all these. Other, you know what I mean? Like speaking of cars, I thought that was very weird. Like at the very beginning, when they are trying to pull the that stone down in the field, and they're yeah. they they drove their car into the field. Oh it yeah, just, yeah, it just, yeah. Like such a, it just seemed like such a weird thing driving the car into the muddy field like that. You know, I would say. I mean, maybe, I've we, but it it does seem it seems weird in that place. But like, to younger me drinking out in a field, it makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say like I don't know, like I feel like that would easily I, I to me that would easily happen. I could be wrong. Um, I mean, there's plenty of times I rip cars out in fields and shit like that, but you know that's how you fuck shit up. <laughs> Also, yes, why is it, I swear, why is it every car in every movie that takes place in Europe always sounds like a, a Volkswagen bug when it runs? Probably because they're all the same motor, who knows? But you ever notice that? It's always, it sounds like shit. I mean, it's possible, dude. It, 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 I don't know uh, the main, it's not, obviously nowadays it'd probably be different. They probably could get more like Americanized stuff, but they're probably not. They might get German made. I can see Volkswagen, obviously, things like that. Um, oh shit, what is up, Mr. Pete Ward? Pete What's up, Pete? House. What up? Welcome. So, Chad Daddy, anything else we got home? Ah, uh, let's see. The book has a very different ending in the novel. The main character of Ron, who is renamed Harold for the film, was actually able to use a talisman to weaken Rawhead, allowing him and the villagers to kill the monster. Okay. So they didn't just bury oh, it alive. Really? Yeah. Okay. And finally, the film was given a limited release theatrically in, in the U.S. by Empire Pictures in 87. It was later released uh, on VHS by Vestron Video the same year. Vestron. Okay. Yeah. And that is everything. There wasn't much to go by. Not yeah. Surprised. Um, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I thought they did kill him at the end because didn't he hit him in the head with an axe or the neck and... Like I swear to God, he hit yeah, him I thought he, I thought he did too. Now that you say that, but but he popped out of the good. ground in the end. So yeah, yeah. I know, which was we. But I mean, like he hit him in the neck, but it didn't seem like it. Did, I don't know. And you know weird. what the weird part is? Is when he pops out at the end, he actually looks better there than he did the whole movie. I just there was a much more fleshy tone to him. Daylight, though, that's my biggest issue. Like this thing was all in daylight, and obviously, like a demon wouldn't care. But at the same time, like I don't know. You don't see Pumpkinhead really fucking around in the day. <laughs> no, you don't. Mm, just say. Yeah, you know. Pum- Anyways. and Pumpkinhead only came out a year later, and look how much better it was. Oh, I don't God. know why, but I was thinking about it the whole time watching this movie. I'm not sure why I was getting vibes like leading me towards that. But well, it was also made by one of the biggest effects wizards of our time. True. Mm, that well, fair enough. Chad, Daddy, anything else, brother? That's it, buddy. Oh, shit. We are done with that. Okay. So, well, we are on to the main question portion of the show. So, gentlemen, what format was this watched on? Special edition DVD that I bought at the show this weekend. Shutter. Also Shutter. And nice, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. I'm like, yeah, why the fuck not? Yeah, fuck it. I just dropped a, hun- a bunch of bones on Jaws. I'll get this. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking love that, dude. That's great. All right, uh, douche of the film. Oh, the fucking priest, the verger. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Virgin. That guy was, what was his name? Uh, De- Declan O'Brien. Declan. Declan. Yeah. Thing, that guy. Sir? That guy was a dickhead even before he was freaking pissed on. Yeah, he was. Like clearly, he was trying to sleep with some of the ladies in the uh, in, in the, the choir. Yeah. Yeah, or whatever the fuck was going on there, or at least the one he was giving the eye to. He was like, "Yeah." Hey. You- um. Yeah. So Declan is definitely like hands hands down all the way. Best scene. Gentlemen, you you skipped favorite kill. Oh, I'm sorry, favorite kill. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you know what? You know why I probably skipped it because we didn't. I didn't fucking see any kills in this movie. Everything was fucking cut away. You know, if I had to, pick, <laughs> if I had to pick something though that I, I I find it still terrifying. I mean, we we've seen it with kids being killed. The kid being killed in the car. That's I'm gonna go with that because even though we didn't see it, yeah, it was, just imagine nice because little... because you two are fathers. Imagine you fucking see that. I know, man, but it made me just laugh more because it just like he literally gobbled them up, just like I don't know. It like, can, yeah, it, it happened can, in it feast can, too. But. It can still make you. It's, it can still make you laugh and still be the favorite kill because you know. This yeah, was, this no, was I'm nineteen. Saying, this was nineteen eighty six. You didn't kill kids in movies back then. No, no, no. And I'm not disagreeing with that by any means. I just don't know if that personally was my favorite. Um, I did like when he started just like ripping motherfuckers up. During that whole like, dude, he fucking rampaged through that fucking trailer park. Yes, he yeah, did. he did. Um, but that I feel is more of like a scene than per se kill. <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, I'm trying to think. What do we got? We got the farmer kill. How do you kill him? We didn't see that because the guy got struck by lightning. He was still moving, but then no, 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 the farmer at the farmhouse when he went. Oh, 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 that guy, yeah. Um, Can you like smash him against the wall or some shit? What do you do? I have it written down here. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But whoo, don't mind that. See, uh, he ripped his throat out. Ah, yeah, he ripped. All right, we'll go with throat rip. We'll go with throat rip then. It's always a good one for me. We didn't have any eye ones in this one, did we? No. Mm He had some weird fucking growing fingernails, but they didn't really grow that long. No, they didn't. <laughs> they were like, in, eh, eh. and <laughs> it was like that. It was like that Family Guy when they all got superpowers and Meg grew her fingernails. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Heather said tits was her favorite. How did she die again? I think she just—I don't know. She got slammed against the uh, tree. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just got thrown. That's all right. Did she really die right. though? I don't know. She's like knockout, but we're just seeing titties. Yeah, tits that's all it favorite. is. Tits is my favorite. All right, uh, best scene, gentlemen. Best scene. Trailer the park. Bap- him, go- him going insane. In the trailer park. The baptism. Oh. Ooh, that was ah. Oh. Because I was so gross. Damn it, dude. That's I fuck. That was a good one too. I don't know if that was my favorite scene, but I think the trailer park, like him rampaging, was my favorite. But the, that definitely is honorable mention. Is the the pissing on because that was a left field. I gotta admit, <laughs> did not expect that shit. All right, gentlemen, opening scene. Hook you in. Yeah, not, not really. There wasn't much to see in the opening scene. It was them trying to move that stone. And I mean, I was interested in like. Yeah, I had a feeling something was behind. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Actually, you know what? My problem is we never even figured out why they're trying to move the stone, and that's what I wanted to know. Well, I'm thinking he is just trying to plow the field, and it was in his way. That was my guess. Yeah, oh, I, I, fair yeah. enough. I can accept that. That's a, the nice and simple. Hmm. All right. So, eh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it wasn't anything that like really hooked you in. I guess. I guess it was when uh, when you first noticed the stained glass laser eyes. I think that's kind of when I was like, "Ooh, what's going on here." But all right, gentlemen, most attractive character. I didn't think a single one of them was attractive, to be honest. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with nobody. I'm going with nobody. Not even tits. I did just none of them did anything for me. I mean, she was all right. Yeah. You know what, dude? I'm going with uh, what was the mom for the main character? Okay, when the mom there? was running around in her underwear, nighty, whatever. That wasn't bad. Well, okay. Bad. I'm not. Even, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because clearly she's a dirty birdie. Yes. So, <laughs> by the way, when he got up to leave to go take a walk and he said, keep it warm for me. Thank you. Ah. Was he talking about the bed? Oh, or? He, no, 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 okay. no. He was talking hey. about the okay. good old. Keep okay. Wet, I, I, that's what, that was wet. my thought, too. <laughs> Dude. And we had a line with cunt in it. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> so at least that we had that. That was good. That also made me laugh. 
little redhead girl. Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go with his wife just because she's. You know what, man? She might not be a ten, but she's got the dirty bird thing, so she's gonna do a lot more shit than a ten's gonna do, anyways. <laughs> That's probably true too. Yeah, you're right. Keep it warm for me, good guy. Keep it warm. Hey, what? Yeah, what the hell was uh? What was he? The dream. What was the name Big Jake or something like that? <laughs> oh God, Big Jake! Yeah, <laughs> let's get it on. All right, and can I say something? This is not—I I don't mean anything terrible about this, but just because, dude, half of my family is Irish, mm-hmm. but Irish women definitely have a look to them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I, you—I don't know. Like you just isn't because, like, the one girl who was getting chased in the woods. I'm just looking at her. I'm like, bro, she looks like eight of my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not even wow. fucking joking dude. <laughs> that's good that's a good one um all right so anyways <clears throat> did the score set the mood eh, no was there any it, no there was i would i would say it, it was yes. a light score maybe? i would say yes because it was mediocre as the rest of the movie that's not re- <laughs> Heather, that's Fuck not racist. Heather, that is not racist. I'm fucking Irish. Yeah, it's not I racist if shit. you're Irish. Come on. Come on. I'm Irish, too, so. Yeah. I'm Italian, but and I You know what? I'm Irish. not wrong, dude. I, <clears throat> listen, I show me an alien from Ireland, and I can guarantee you I could draw a sketch of what she's going to content, pretend, like 70% look like. <laughs> that's, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not wrong on that. Oh, I know it is. I'm just saying it. Um, also, we're gonna get a bunch of Irish people that are super pissed off. <laughs> this is the wrong week. This is the wrong week. Um, anyway, his best song was there any? No, there was not none that I can remember. No. Right. Favorite character, Rawhead. Rawhead Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> he was like fuck was the rest of cool. them. Yeah. yeah, like Chad said in the beginning, dude. None of these characters, like all these characters, kind of sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody was really. Yeah. Like they could have ate the little girl too. I would have been like, man, eh, eh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, it would have been like, oh, that sucks, but okay. I mean, like, you did, obviously didn't need it. Um, okay, so was it scary? No. Not by any fucking no. means. No. Clearly, it was intended, but I don't know by whom. That intention. Uh, well, we sucked. do, but yeah, it was just it was a bad effort. All right, gentlemen, does it hold up today? No, it is a no. Not really. No. <clears throat> the acting. That's a C yeah. minus yeah. acting. Not great. I would say though. our main guy was okay, uh, but everybody else was definitely a little flat. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. That's as far as I'm willing to go. Cinematography? No. There's nothing to write Not home good. about. Nothing to even say. Except for the shots I, of the actual countryside, it sucked. That was the only the, the shots of the countryside and the couple shots we actually got of Rex at night with the full glowing eyes and everything. Or the Not sum- the best, but it was better. I could picture, I could picture Kundi teaching a class on cinematography and showing this film and telling his students, "Okay, you saw that. Don't do that." And then he shows, and then he shows like Halloween, like, "See this." So there's do one that. shot. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, a uh, couple days late, but happy belated birthday to Mr. Kundi. Yes, happy birthday yes. to him. Happy birthday to the goat himself. Kaylee, um, you just was... gotta go watch it. Just go watch it. We'll sell there... it to you, but you gotta watch it. Okay, so there was one shot in particular that it looked like they tried doing something. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm giving them more credit. But it was in it was when uh the main character, I believe, he was coming down a hallway, and it was a very blue hallway. Uh, and it was a really glossy blue. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. Anyways, but they definitely had some like weird cocked angle looking like the one way, but then when it went to him going to down the hallway the rest of the way, it just went to like a standard view. So it looked like they tried doing something there and then they like they forgot. I don't fuck. I got a but. good I got a good laugh at how shitty the ending looked with the the hand drawn animation in the whole yeah. magic or whatever it was. Oh the ah! yeah because God the did weird. that look horrible. Was was that a pregnant statue? I don't it know. It looked like it, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it looked like it, but that was terrible. Word. All right, so you know what? This might be one of the most positive questions of the evening. Did you enjoy the premise? Yeah, I did enjoy yeah. the premise. premise I actually yeah. liked. The execution I, fell flat. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay, gentlemen, so we are on our, our section. R- remake. Remake 100%. Yeah, remake it. Remake. Yeah, let 100% Clive, remake Let Clive it. Barker remake it and make it what we all definitely envision. I'm trying like... It's kind of hard. Okay, so now I've never read the novel, or I mean, 
the graphic novel or anything. Does he talk at all? Does he just snarl? Do you guys even know? I don't oh, think he yeah. talks, but he does have an interior monologue in the in the story. Okay, like it has him like thinking back and remembering things. It does, it does get in his head a little bit. Okay, I'm it's, just wondering, like, because I I, I don't, almost don't want him to talk, but I, clearly he has, you know, a there, conscious. He knows what he's doing and stuff. So you know, all right. I, there, there's there's a scene in the book where he masturbates. Really? Oh. Is it his actual head? Like no, no. I don't oh think God! So. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. As far as the talking, if he's going to talk, I would rather him. It, w- it would have to be very subtle. Certain things he should say. You know what I mean? Like very, very little. Yeah. But yeah, I, it, I, you know, I want to go. I want to flip flop that. You know, as monstrous as he looked and everything, I would love it if he spoke really sophisticated, like the brain gremlin. How hilarious would that be? Make it a fucking comedy. Fuck it. Why not? Like Brainiac or something. Like <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I do declare what? that I am going to Why piss would? on you right now. All righty. All right, gentlemen, let's rate this steaming pile. How many bloody VHS tapes are we going out of five? Chad, Daddy, start us off. Be honest with yourself, homie. It's not awful. I'll give it a 2.7. 2.7. Because I do enjoy Ah, uh, two. Uh, two. Solid two. Two. All right. And I feel like I'm going to give it mm, 1.7. It feels right to me. All right. And so we got a doozy, and we are dividing this model liquor by six, which gives us a score of 2.2 2 for right. Rawhead Rex. Sounds, it seems fair. I think Scuba came in with the high. He did. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. That is okay. What are we doing next week, Chad Daddy? Okay, so originally we were going to do Critters next week. However, oh, okay. However, I'd made the change because I won't be here next week. I am taking the kiddos to a indoor water park up in Erie. Ooh, so nice. So I made a flip-flop, and now it's going to be Chud. So I can do critters Ooh. the following week. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. All right. Nice, dude. Yeah. Good old Daniel Stern. Always a plus. And if I'm not mistaken. A very young I, John Goodman. No, 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 no. So even nothing you guys would particularly know. But I'm pretty sure the the pizza shop I used to work at, work at the manager there, he used to be in movies and stuff or at least he tried like he was on the amanda show he was in lost world i think he's supposed to be in shud but i can't fucking remember where so i'm gonna be looking like the devil for myself nice to see where he's at i he, i'm sure he's just an extra because obviously like the year and everything came out but it's been so long played, since i've watched oh my god he Damn. plays the dad in lost world when the dog gets eaten yeah i remember you saying kid, like wait yeah Ooh, okay. yeah so that's him his name is carrie adele so I'm going to be looking really hard next week for that shit. Okay, um, so Chud is on that. Tubi. It's also on Vudu, Amazon Prime. You can rent those places. I'm nice willing to bet man. it's on demand. Fuck, you're on demand. Everything's on demand. <laughs> and you know what? It might be on Shudder. I just didn't get a chance to look. I don't remember, to be honest. I'm glad I got to watch another movie on Shudder, though. But yeah. I'll, I'll try and get it. I'll, I should be able to do a video and everything. All right, yeah. sweetness, sweetness, right. sweetness. Beautiful. Uh, I think we were a little light on nerd news this week. Yeah. So yeah, really, there's not much to happen. I know uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, the digital copy leaked online over the weekend. Ooh, yes. So yes, Sony yes, yes. made the right call and said, "Fuck it, we'll just release it a week early." So now, instead of coming out next Tuesday, it comes out tomorrow. All right. Fair. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. So if you want a digital copy, you know, get on whatever you know, Voodoo or whatever, buy it tomorrow or wait for myself like a physical copy for april 12th yes that's the better answer to do yeah i'll try but i know my wife will just buy it anyway so the smart thing to do is to wait until april 12th because you get the physical copy I and know, you get the I digital know. code with it so you get chad i've yes. tried i've gone down that road so many listen i tried doing it with ghostbusters and she bought it she's like i can't believe you're yelling at me for buying ghostbusters i'm like because i literally could have got the digital copy anyways yep but you gotta wait <laughs> oh, a few well. weeks Yep, 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 yep. It's called impatient. Oh well, yeah, that's all right. But uh yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. We got a nice short sweet episode this week. Yeah, that's um right. Chud is not on shutter. Thank you very much, Heather. 
but it is on Prime for free. Good to know. Nice. All righty. So, uh, Chad Daddy, you want to start us off with the sign out? Yeah, this is your Dark Lord of Knowledge, your Chad Daddy saying, I'll see you in two weeks. Uh, I believe Miss Kaylee is going to be my replacement for next week, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. yes, yes yeah, yes, so you yes, get to yes, see yes. you get to see her on here instead of my hideous face. That was a nice little breath of fresh air. So yeah, see you guys in two weeks. Bobby. This is your killing machine, Bobby Moan, saying we'll see you next week and keep it real, you fuckers. Hey, this is your fluff master supreme, Big Johnny D saying adios, gorehounds, and stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs>